So our next test to see how sticky our clay is and how much that we have actually clay in our soil is if you take that same clay right out of the ground, um, or the soil right out of the ground, because we don't know it has clay yet, and I, and I wet it fairly, fairly well. And you can see it really gets sticky now. It's sticking to my hands. You know, this piece just stays, even though I turn my hand upside down, it stays on there. And I'm going to make a worm. Okay, and if you roll that clay into a worm, again, remembering that the, the structure of the clay is a suction cup platelet. And I hold it at one end and I let it drop. Only clay is sticky enough to support all of this weight by holding here without breaking. If this were topsoil, it would have broken off. If it was super silty, it would have broken off. Only clay is this sticky that it will, that it will actually self-support a load, right? So this is a load, it's a weight, and I'm holding just up here, and it's relying on the stickiness of the clay to hold it all together. So we know we have clay and we know it's sticky. Now we need to know how much clay do we have in that soil. So we do something simple called a shake test. And what we do is we take some sifted, modestly sifted, we just don't want huge lumps, of the same soil that we're planning to use. We sift that out and we add about 25% of that soil into a fairly cylindrical jar. Fill the rest of the jar with water and shake it. And what you're doing is you want to shake it until all of the clay dissolves off of any sand that might be in your mix. And I need to, my hands are muddy, so I need to wipe off the jar so I can see it. And I'm, I just check the bottom just to make sure that all I see is sand and no clumps of clay. And as soon as I have that, then I know the clay is in solution. The clay is um, suspended in the water. And then there's, um, the, then you're using the fact that sand can't float. The clay can stay suspended in the water, but sand has to fall by gravity through the water. So what we do is we just, um, after you've shaken it, let it just kind of calm down a little bit. And I'm gonna just sort of gently turn it, in, turn it over onto a reasonably level surface. And within 10 to 30 seconds, you can watch all of the sand drop out. So you can see that there's, there's a line at the bottom here and the water is dirty with suspended clay. And this line where I see the solid has settled, that's my sand line. Okay, so then <clears throat> this is a shake test that is completed. What you're waiting for then, and sometimes it can take a day, sometimes even more, um, you're waiting then for all of the, you draw a line where you see the sand and you're then waiting for all of the clay to come out of solution, out of suspension in, that, in the water. So this is a shake test that we did about a month ago. This first line was where we saw the sand settle. This second line on our jar is where the clay eventually settled to. I've moved this around so the water got cloudy again, but the water should be completely clear when all of the clay has settled. And then the way you determine the percentage of clay versus sand that's in your soil is you simply measure the height of the line from the bottom, the height, this is why it needs to be fairly cylindrical. You measure the height of the first line and then the height between the first line and the second line. So we have about one inch to our first line and then one and a quarter inches between the first line and the second line. So that means we have one part sand to one and a quarter parts clay.